Uh, the bike we're looking at here, uh, I think it's probably built in the early 80s. liking the uh, drag bike looking so it made a tubular tank and a big supercharger hanging off of it and a uh, little fairing on it and a uh, spoiler a little bit of aluminum work around on the fenders and stuff to uh, kind of make it look performance wise Ro rode it a lot went on a lot of runs with it and everything it was uh, it was a great bike in fact uh, those those days uh, we were starting to uh, make some frames and stuff like that. So it, we made a chromoly frame, swing arm, because um, they're lighter. I guess the, the main part of that bike was the blower hanging out there with the two SU carburetors. That was, uh, that was, pretty, that was pretty, uh, pretty new for those days. That was a, a crowd, crowd catcher, I guess you'd say. Had a nice uh, gold leaf paint job on it. and. Riding that bike, it, it was a bit, was good. It handled good. It uh, was easy to ride. It had shocks on it and good brakes. And uh, the, the bikes were getting more user friendly in those days. So we were making uh, some better stuff. By then, when this bike came out, I was making more more parts. Uh, maybe it's different style handlebars, different style uh, fenders, and actually was doing some gas tanks that uh, were kind of uh, pyramid shaped and uh, that style come in after after we moved on after this bike then we started making these uh, those long low digger frames real lightweight uh, with the rocket style gas tanks and things like that back in those days I, w I was painting still and uh, I would do all the base coats and maybe tape flames or whatever but uh, the artwork, I had several friends that uh, were very good stripers and stuff like that, so they would always finish them up for me. No engineering uh, problems or whatever, it's all pretty straightforward, and, and when you're building quite a few bikes, you know what's going to work and what's not going to work. The rake angle and the seat and, you know, pegs where they belong and all that stuff, so uh, we were learning, learning as we went. Actually, the little fairing that's on there, we... Uh, we started uh, selling them when once this come out and got in the magazines and all that stuff. And uh, so the little fairing actually worked real well, always added to uh, give you something more to paint. And it did block some of the wind. And uh, I believe that uh, even now, 40 years later, we're still selling those fairings. <laughs>